CEO confidence has started to deteriorate noticeably with new orders really in a free fall. The indicator for recession that to me is the most uh, compelling in terms of, of watching and being concerned about is consumer sentiment comparing how consumers in the United States feel about the present contrasted to how they feel about the future. First, consumers start to feel bad about the future. They say the future looks worse than how I feel about the present. And that started quite a while ago now. Consumers' view of the present is starting to deteriorate pretty rapidly. And the view of the future continues to be pretty grim. And this is really a very common sign of the consumer maybe being poised to pull back. Underneath the surface of all of this is the desire to get interest rates substantially below the inflation rate. It is a way of slowing down the debt compounding problem. President Trump wants the dollar to be lower, and the way to get there is to cut interest rates very dramatically. As the deficit explodes, we should expect the dollar to be falling. The inflation rate in the United States is higher than the yield on anything in the U.S. Treasury market. The Fed cutting short-term interest rates doesn't necessarily mean that long-term interest rates will go down. And also, historically, quantitative easing has actually been uh, correlated with rising long-term interest rates. Extreme bond supply coming at us in the next recession. We should expect the dollar to fall in the next recession. We should expect the dollar to fall in the next recession. We should expect the dollar to fall in the next recession. We should expect the dollar to fall in the next recession. Extreme bond supply coming at us. Extreme the next bond supply coming at us in the next recession. Nikkei has never made it back to that level ever again. 30 years later. And then the European market completely collapsed after that, and it's never made it back. 20 years, the emerging markets got decimated, and they've never made it back. I think in the next recession, we'll see the same pattern repeat where the US gets kneecapped and ends up underperforming the rest of the world with the dollar weakening. Just be allocating incrementally to non dollar uh, investments and non US stock markets. We should expect a dollar to fall in the next recession. We should expect a dollar to fall in the next recession. Extreme bond supply coming at us in the next recession.